Done? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kaleo. I'm going to talk a little bit about Hawaiian sacred dance that we're going to be offering here. Um, you know, for me, I got, um, I got, I was introduced to Hawaiian hula after when I grew up, I experienced some emotional, physical trauma as so many women have done. And it followed me into my adulthood and really my whole body was, uh, just was tight and tense and um, I had a lot of trouble moving. And as I went through the healing process of the emotional aspect, I was also looking how to heal my body and how to get it to be able to move. And I have tight hips to begin with. So I tried belly dancing, but I couldn't really get the isolations, partly because my body was so stiff. And I tried yoga with my tight hips. It was hard for me to get down on the floor. And suddenly I was introduced to hula. And what I loved about it was, um, to do it is, initially to do it is very simple. All you have to do is just be able to step side to side, move your feet forward and back a little bit, very simple steps. And so anybody can do it while you're also telling a story with your arms and your hands, because it really is ancient storytelling. The Hawaiians didn't have a written language until the 1800s, and so they grounded everything about their culture and their stories and then embodied it in this form of movement and dance and storytelling through movement. And so it helps a woman to, you're out of your head, you're out of your emotions, you come into your body, and you're able to express your sensuality, your creativity, um, um, not only in being able to move and feel more in the flow of nature, the natural flow of nature, but also in being able to tell these beautiful stories about nature and family and love with the Hawaiians call Aloha through your arms and your hands through those movements. And so my passion is really about wanting to help other women who had similar experiences like mine, who feel that they, they don't like their body, there's something wrong with it, they can't move, they're embarrassed to even try to get up and dance, and to help them to be able to experience the joy of being in their body and moving freely and feeling the beauty and the sensuality and all of be who we are as women. So that's why I share hula.